Hello and welcome to Felts by Philippa and today we're going to make a Ryland sheep with genuine Ryland sheep fleece. He's about six inches high, he's got nose, eyes, he's got cloven hooves and he's very cute and sweet. So let's get started. So we're going to need wire, we're going to need wire cutters and wire turners, glue, four mil eyes and tape to tape the wire together, black wool, brown wool, it's carded and then this is the actual fleece that came off the sheep and I washed it very gently and it's ready to use. So we're going to make the legs, so you need two of those and then you're going to need a bit along the body to connect it all together. So twist the ends over so that you don't hurt yourselves at any point with the uh, wire sticking out and then take the body bit and attach it to the legs. I twist one part of the body bit at the front over, give it a little twist so that it can hang in there, and then we're gonna tape it all together. It's a little bit fiddly, but once you've taped it, it's absolutely fine. So I'm gonna take the front and then I'll show you the end of the tape of the second one. And there we go, just twist it round all the way around several different ways, press it in and that's your frame. So we're going to start by carding, uh, needle felting the middle bit with the black, you can use whatever colour you've got. And as always, twist this really tight, it makes life a lot easier. So do the body quite big, front and back, there's a couple of friends just to show you. Um, I use a frame for all my horses because it makes them nice and strong. And then there's another sheep that I have done before and he's got a frame inside as well. There we go, so I've made quite a lot of extra wool on the front and the back because you're going to need or felt the coat into those so you want there to be quite a bit. There's the legs and the neck. So the neck I'm just going to cover over a little bit more because I don't like the wire sticking out and have it ready for when we do the head. And then we're going to, going to put brown on his tummy because the tummy will show. So just needle felt that all over. There we go, nice and quick. And the legs. So attach the brown to the base and then twist, twist, twist all the way down and start needle felting. This can take a while, it is a bit fiddly because of having the wire frame, but it does make um, the whole animal a lot sturdier. Well, so it's worth doing it on the wireframe. So at the base, always dig upwards and inwards to get nice flat feet. And I added a bit more, I wanted his legs to be a little bit chunkier. And then I add a little bit more on the end as well because I think I could just feel the wire and I don't like to be able to feel the wire at all. There we go, there's all the legs done. He's standing up really well. So we're gonna get the wool. Oh, gonna do the cloven uh, hooves. So get a bit of black, stretch it out nice and thin, and then attach to the front and back. And as you needle felt it in, it will give the appearance of being slightly cloven as well. Doesn't matter if you do this quite hard, because like I said, we want it to appear like there's two hooves. There we go, all four done. So next we're going to start with the coat. I had a lot of sifting through of this natural stuff to find the nice bits. So hold it, the part across that you want, do it in the middle and then flip it over and needle felt it again so it's nice and secure. And we're going to do this as, as sort of like a really low coat the sheep all the way around the bottom so this is the first layer so all the way around there we go first layer or skirt on then we're going to do the next one about half an inch up again through the middle fold over and needle felt the top to secure it 
same again all the way around lovely and one more layer there it starts to get really fluffy don't worry if he's too fluffy that's how you want him so there we go all the way around and so we're going to start doing the head so roll it up nice and tight this is the brown we're using and it will make your life a lot easier the tighter you roll this the quicker you'll be able to needle felt it I like the nose to be a little bit narrow and the eyes and head top of the head area to be wider Make sure he's nice and firm, the head, because it makes it easier for putting the eyes in and for attaching the nose parts. So when, you have, when you're when you quite happy with him, I leave a little fluffy bit at the end, just so it's going to help me when I attach it to the neck. Um, work out where your eyes are going to be. So um, I've got a special eye felting tool that I'll use in a minute, so this is where the eye is going to be. So I take the tool, it just makes it easier to make the hole bigger, push it in, take your eyes, bit of glue on the bottom, and then push it in the little hole and they should stay in there. Sometimes it can be a bit tricky to get them in, just use, just make the hole a little bit bigger. Make sure the eyes are level, have a look at them before you glue them, that's absolutely fine, check you're happy with them. There we go, there's the eyes. Next we're going to do the mouth and nose, so you get the black, make it into a thin line and hold it either side, needle felt either end or either side first and then start going through the middle, makes it easier if you know where the end is, keeps it level. There's his mouth, so the nose one we're going to do, hold it as a line above it, but then we're going to turn it into a V. So needle felt the middle and then either side push up into the shape of a V and these are the actual nostril areas. And then we're going to get a, another piece, so there's the V, another piece and it's going to join the two vertically down the middle. So hold it over needle felt both ends first and then needle felt the little bits in. If there are any bits that are straggling and you just can't get them in, don't over needle felt it, just cut those bits off. There's the face. So he'd like some ears, so if you take some brown, fold it in half to create an edge and then just keep turning the edges inwards, hold on to the end so it's almost like nearly a circle and then once you've flattened that down quite a bit you're going to take the ear, fold it in half needle felt it in half at the base and then make another one and then attach them to the back of the head most ears should be pointing forwards or down for sheep they definitely, well, apart from a couple of breeds they definitely don't point up like a horse does so just attach them at the back. You're going to cover this all up so it's fine if it looks a bit rough but there he is with his head. I had to trim quite a lot of the neck off because it was too high. Needle felting it's quite easy to do that. You can just cut it off um, and there we are attaching the head to the neck and because I haven't got lots of wool at the back of him I'm going to make him a little scarf in a minute and if I hold or attach it round as if I'm putting a scarf on him and then needle felt that in that'll make it nice and strong and firm there we go that's his scarf try not to hurt yourself this is the time when you can poke all the way through if his head is pointing a little bit too far up just squish him in a downwards position and needle felt it and his head will start to move and stay in that position he was looking a bit too high so I wanted his head down a little bit
there we go so we're going to do the next layer of um, fluff and a bit around the neck and then all the way up the bottom so this bit here just needle felt in the middle do not fold it over and needle felt again just do it through the middle and then you can fluff it up together and they don't have a top line like the Highland cows do so you don't need to worry about making a top line and then just go further up all fluffy and then under the neck it's the same thing needle felt in the middle there and then just fold it down you do not want to see any needle felting marks so fold it through the middle and needle felt it down uh, sorry fold it down there we go all the way around and up the back of the head oh we look silly and then it'll start to look better with the last bit on the front I went a little bit lighter here so fold it in the heart in the middle and then just fluff it down a little bit and then he's got sideburns coming as well uh, Rylan sheep are very fluffy all over their face so either side fluff 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 there we go so I was going to do his nose in a light colour but I've ended up I will do it in a black in a minute and then this bit here you're just going around and you're neatening and tidying all the wool so that you could give him a straighter back or make his bottom look a bit bigger wherever it looks a bit wrong and if you needle felt it in it'll look a little bit neater you don't want him really neat but you do want him to look a little bit neater than just pure madness so um, this is quite good fun this bit so there we go I've done his black nose so thank you for watching a couple of his friends I'll show you in a minute. Subscribe for more videos. Thank you very much.